So this is DMG, welcome to the DMG Info channel, a channel where we make all kinds of interesting tabletop terrain for role-playing games, war games, and other tabletop games. Of course, in this one we can talk about how to make a fire pit. Now, don't burn yourself. Well, you can't, it's not real, but you can't. Ah, just get... weekend again so it's time to make a fire pit and of course this is a single square so see video two with double corrugated cardboard for measurements and all that thing for a single square and this one we got from our previous video which is how to make an oven so uh stay stay got blue tack again stick it down there we go right so in the middle of our single square we're going to just roughly draw a super circle just a small little circle and then hold the ping pong ball half down in there and trace around it with a pencil so you'll see roughly where part of the edge is going to be so just you know, merge that around to a more circleish style grab your craft knife and begin to cut through the first layer only so don't cut too deep in this if you've watched a lot of videos on my channel you know what i'm talking about so just cut around with a craft knife be careful and then rip out that first layer of the corrugation and then we're going to draw that circle in the middle again so that we have a target to work with and then using a craft knife cut out that layer and be sure not to go through the bottom so that you uh, maintain the integrity of the piece the structural integrity field is complete of course then rip out that final layer so now you've got the sort of tiered layered circle into there we're going to stick this half ping pong ball into the circle that we've created now grab the uh, toilet roll that we just put aside from last video and cut about a half a centimeter uh, off so you're going to get this sort of half eight rolling away there half centimeter band and we'll just put that side uh, put that aside for later but it's going to essentially go around like that but we'll see why we're holding it aside for now hot glue into the circle there and then take the half ping pong ball and place it in hold it there until the glue cures and we're almost at a fire pit so then using the scissors we're just going to cut around and get it to about the same half centimeter width as the toilet roll band we just created while i could be very proud of me measuring well i didn't really measure so maybe you won't be that proud but anyway so cut around that ping pong ball uh, as I said in the last video, use the cheapest ones you can find, the ones you get like 10 for a dollar, not the expensive ones that'll be in the table tennis shop. So now you can see the ring is a little bit too wide, so we need to cut out some of this cardboard ring. So I'm just cutting out about one and a half centimeters, but you'll have to cut it to your own specifications because your width and everything is going to differ from mine. Hot glue around the edges of the inlaid pit now and then place that band around and hold it there until it cures. So now we've created the edges of the fire pit. Just hold it until that cures and then you can use the hot glue gun to just merge the edge of the ping pong ball on the inside with the cardboard so you kind of have a, 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 a better sort of line to it. There we go, that's essentially the fire pit so far. Now grab one of these polystyrene eggs and just rip off the top don't cut it rip it off of course i've used this before in my alien eggs video if you don't know what i'm talking about you haven't found my secret passage videos which are videos that are hidden and you have to solve the puzzles to find them <laughs> anyway hot glue in the bottom of the fire pit and then stick that piece you've broken off down in the bottom and it's ready for painting now but hold on to that egg you're gonna need it <laughs> look at that interview i interview myself that'll help you so there we go fire pit so now of course use videos three four and five to get to this point where we've done the stone work around the edge and then i'm going to run the banding of this i'm going to use my little stampy my sponge stampy to just stamp on the gray paint around the edges and then using boots of speed we're going to just put in white paint 
all around the polystyrene and around the edges. Doesn't matter if we hit the collar, that's not a problem. And then we're going to use some yellow. You should let some of the white show through, that's important. You can go right up to the top of the edges, but hit the sides as well. Not a problem if you do that. Then we're going to go straight red, but don't paint it on, dab it on. Just dab, 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 straight onto the polystyrene, and then kind of smush it along the edges so that it merges with the yellow, gives you a bit of orange. Boot to speed here so that you can just see it, uh, the merge starting to happen. Mix in with that yellow, dab on some of the orange that's created and right around the collar. And then finally use straight red paint around the collar just to edge it. So that's giving it the sort of glowing heat look to this fire pit. Of course you can go over a little bit of black if you want black coals there, but that's not entirely necessary. Then I'm just finishing off the tile effect here as from video five. And of course you can use black and then highlight the edges of the tile with white. But of course, reference video five to find out the rest of the secrets. Well, there's not many, so this is essentially what you do. So that's a fire pit. Check that out, glowing hot, excellent. And now I wish, of course, we should put it on some terrain. You can actually build it into the tiles itself because the tile I've just placed it on top for ease of demonstration. So that's how we make a fire pit. Thank you for joining me and don't forget you can also check out other members of the Tabletop Crafters Guild. They are listed on tabletopcraftersguild.com. There are plenty of channels that are available. Of course, the Guildmasters, DM Scotty at the DM's Craft, Wilak of Wilak's Crafting Vids, and Jeremy of Black Magic Craft. Thank you for joining me and of course a like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share this with your friend. Click the bell to receive notifications. God, what else is there? Facebook, Twitter, all the kinds of other things that are socially meteorized. Uh, of course, there's a video up here which is one of my recent videos and then there's one that YouTube recommends. Up here, you can click to subscribe to this channel and there's one of my other channels down there in the bottom. So once again, you can stay within the Marvel Universe. No, you can marvel at the universe that is the DMG. Well, not really.